in this portion of the video, we're going to show you how to install the tools on the end of the cable. So we have our tool here. You have your plunger. You always make sure that that plunger works. Um, if it's not working, spray it with a lubricant. Make sure because this is the only thing that actually keeps the tool centered on the coupling itself. The coupling will take the force of the torque or the twist action, but the only thing that keeps it centered is that little plunger there. So if that's not working, eventually it will spin off of the uh, end of the tool. So these have sort of like a chamfer to them. Okay, and that's to aid in this uh, plunger uh, putting itself in place. And as you can see here, it has a hole in the center for that plunger to reside in. Okay, so when we slide this on here, just like that, it'll actually snap right in place. And you always want to make sure that you look to make sure that you can see the plunger. If you can't see the plunger, uh, you're going to have an issue where you cannot uh, use it because you're going to risk losing your tool. Now to remove them, we have our coupling key. And if you notice, it has a stop on it right there, okay? And it also has this wedge. The wedge goes towards the male coupling, okay? So when you slide that into the hole, you'll simply push that down. There's no need to twist it, you know, just because of the name key. And at that point, you can simply just slide that out. What it does is the chamfer actually starts pushing the plunger out of the way so that you can remove the tool. And then you can remove your key.